So about nine years ago, when I was the age of 22, I developed a disorder called schizoaffective disorder, where I would hallucinate, have paranoia, delusions, anxiety, depression, and mania. Well, after nine years of symptoms on and off in the last four years managing it with medication consistently I finally checked my lithium levels <laughs> I work at a um, place where I'm a phlebotomist and I purchased a test online to test for my lithium levels and I was just kind of researching through um, like YouTube or asking questions on Google and different things that would uh, show up um, on the internet and it's been a long search. Um, I've searched Lyme disease, um, autoimmune disorders. I've searched uh, uh, autoimmune disorders, Lyme disease, lupus. Uh, I don't know. It's just been HPV. I've searched um, different things that aren't coming to my mind, but um, things that were not tested on me while I was in the hospital that could be a possibility. And finally, cortisol is another one. Um, finally, last month, for the beginning of this month, I tested my lithium levels. And you know what? My lithium levels were minus 0 0.7. And the normal range for lithium is 0 0.6 to 1.2. So it's, it was a big deficit of lithium and the reason why I search I have been searching is because medication psych medication alone was not completely knocking out all the symptoms that I've had like depression and anxiety and mania or um and bipolar were the main things that kept on hanging on and when you have a deficiency in lithium you are more likely to have depression, bipolar disorder, impulse control, and um, also infertility and this is caused me to search like how to raise my lithium levels and I want to do it naturally and not through medication for for lithium like psych meds that are for to raise your lithium levels so I searched for lithium supplements and I search for them on YouTube and a lot of YouTubers that are like doctors and stuff recommended lithium orotate and I believe the orotate is just to help the lithium to be absorbed by your body um, better. This one is five milligrams brain and nervous system support by Cal since 1932 and you take one capsule a day they look like this 
and it has been 10 days of taking one capsule at night every day and I haven't gotten tested again yet because I'm just waiting for it to be a longer time before I see if any improvement raising my lithium levels but I can already tell that I'm less depressed like especially like in the mornings I'm less impulsive throughout the day um, the pain that is depression in my mind has been less and it's like not a headache and it's not actual pain but it's it's really hard to explain what depression is feels like but it was really bad before taking the supplements and now I am lessening that feeling and it's really nice and I, I hope it only gets better um, but my update for my health that's what what is going on right now I also take a Cyprexa for the um, hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, um, and bipolar, so that helps with it, but it didn't completely knock it all out because of my lithium deficiency. I also take vitamin D because I've been, a, been deficient in that in the past. I take iron because I'm a little bit deficient in that, and I take lithium. So those four things um, have been helping with my mental health. And I am hopefully like this is good, like everything feels good and everything, but it has only been 10 days. So I'm hoping to even more improve over the next month or two of taking it. So probably another update video coming out. But I just wanted to update you on my mental health and how I've been feeling and I'm taking lithium to raise my lithium levels. Hopefully get it in a normal range and test it again in like a month or two. That's all I have for you tonight. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.